What's good, my G's? You already know. Your boy Snow Ignorant Games in the house. How you doing? How you living? How you gaming? You see it on the screen. I'm downloading the shit. Recording this video to upload it just so I can delete the motherfucker. <laughs> But before I even do that, I want to talk to you guys. I want to say something right now. This shit has got to stop. It's got to stop. It's got to stop. I've always said this. Facebook is the prime example of this. Call of Duty is the second prime example of this shit. Motherfuckers, when they're at the top, they got to stay at the top. Have they earned their way to the top? We're not going to dispute that. We're not going to discuss that. What we are going to talk about is stealing once you get to the top. Facebook does it all the time. They bought out WhatsApp. You see Messenger now. They bought out Instagram. They've stole from Twitter numerous times. Shout out to status updates. Shout out to hashtags. They stole from Google+. Plus. I'm not even going to say the feature that they took from them. And a couple small little 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 websites that they took shit from that I'm not gonna say nothing about, including Black Planet, Me and Day, and Asian Avenue. I'm not even gonna get into the MySpace conversation. That is what it is. Shout out to anyone who remembers your MySpace profile. Vanilla profile. Let's just leave that alone. But Call of Duty has scooped so low because they see the dip. Now they're still making the most money when it comes to the shooter market. When it comes out annually. But here's what I'm getting at. Your game, Call of Duty, never comes out broken. Your game, Call of Duty, never comes out broken. I repeat, since this is Black Ops 3, your game, Call of Duty, never comes out broken. There is no need for a Call of Duty beta. Not a server test, not none of that shit. Why? Because it doesn't fucking matter. Ghost didn't have a beta that was open like this for a fucking quote unquote pre-order on the PlayStation 4. Is that part of that deal? whatever events warfare didn't need a beta black ops 2 didn't need a beta modern warfare 3 didn't need a beta so you can get the jump on this this is a sign of marketing don't think that the game is broken that's why I know this marketing one they trying to honor the deal now that they have a PlayStation 4 right with the PlayStation brand right that's that's out there that's a part of it that's not even a huge chunk of it Number two, although they're still killing, their numbers are dipping. They lied and told you that Ghost was going to be revolutionary and blah blah blah. And what I saw in that game was more stolen features from games that Call of Duty fans, sorry, Call of Duty fanboys, not the fans, crushed other games for, i.e. Medal Honor twice. Metal Honor 2010, Mortal, Metal Honor Warfighter. You guys laugh when you can run and slide. Where'd you think that come from? You guys laughed when you can have offensive and defensive strikes. Oh my god, that's confusing. It's just stupid. And then they went ahead and put it in their fucking games from the next iteration of Call of Duty forward. Games coming out with betas. This is crazy. Call of Duty is the epitome of that. Now I'm picking on Call of Duty because we all know no matter how, what game you play, what game you don't play, we all know that this is a successful franchise and they get it right when it comes out all the time. This beta shit needs to stop. This is bigger than my hate for the overall Call of Duty community. This is bigger than that. This shit needs to stop. There's a beta for Six Siege. You know what? Rainbow Six Siege may need a beta. Why? Because I think a lot of people are not going to buy that game if it ain't what they think. If if 
Ghost Recon Future Soldier had a beta, people wouldn't have purchased that game. I know a lot of people who wouldn't have purchased the game. The game's not bad, it's just not the Ghost Recon game they wanted. This Call of Duty game is always, you guys still, especially on the Xbox, you play Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and had a nerve to talk about Titanfall. Call of Duty, Titanfall is Call of Duty with mechs. As my boy West the Ruler, what does mechs in a Call of Duty game play like? Shout out to West the Ruler. And then, the game, Advanced Warfare, the thing that they stole, doesn't even work right. It's not even fluid. I thought Ghost was bad. But the un the most unsmoothest of the Call of Duty games since the Big Red One is Advanced Warfare. This shit's choppy. It is not the fluidest game, but guess what? It still sells, right? I I, I was told sales don't matter when it uh, it don't matter, so it sells. So it is the most played, most hated, whatever the fuck it is. That's not the topic of this video. Beta's got to stop. There's no server testing needed for Call of Duty. This game sells all the time. It always overflows with sales. They've never had launch issues according to the Call of Duty enthusiasts. I'm not getting into the elite shit. Fuck all that. Because we, we, we know what time it is. And we know what time it is when Xbox One was having issues and all the fucking commentators or on their PlayStation copies. We're not, we're not even going to get into that, right? You guys say it's flawless. This beta tactic, this beta stealings tactic should be enough for us to put the foot down on this shit. Don't worry, I won't be posting gameplay from this shit. <laughs> At least I don't think so. You know. Whatever. <laughs> Fuck this shit.